The chairman of NBC News said an employee lodged a complaint against Lauer for inappropriate sexual behavior in the workplace. Video provided by Newsy News Look Variety interviewed dozens of current and former Today Show staffers who said work and sex were often intertwined for anchor Matt Lauer, whose firing was announced Wednesday, photo, Zach Pagano, NBC. America woke up without another one of the most recognizable faces in morning television Wednesday, as the rapid-fire sexual harassment allegations that have been rocking Hollywood and Washington brought down one of the most prominent figures to date. A visibly shaken Savannah Guthrie announced at the top of the Today Show that her former co-anchor Matt Lauer had been fired, the second major morning show host to lose his position in the wake of harassment accusations in a little more than a week. The news plunged the morning talk show landscape into turmoil, and raises further questions about how far these questions of sexual harassment will go and who will be the next to fall. Hours after the announcement, Garrison Keillor, the radio host whose name is nearly synonymous with a Prairie Home Companion, joined Lauer on the list of high-profile men accused of sexual harassment and assault claims and summarily dismissed, including Lauer's CBS morning show counterpart Charlie Rose. More, Charlie Rose Scandal, PBS, CBS Suspend Journalist After Sexual Misconduct Allegations More, replacing Matt Lauer, is the era of the big-name TV news anchor over? The rapid-fire nature of these allegations has signaled a shift in the zeitgeist, as once-tolerated and shrugged-off behavior has become the undoing of previously untouchable men. But Lauer's case is one of the most high-profile so far, and may be particularly problematic for NBC. The Today Show, which is NBC's crown jewel but ranks behind ABC's Good Morning America, rakes in nearly $500 million a year in ad revenue. Lauer has been the face of the program for more than 20 years. It also raises questions similar to those faced by the embattled Weinstein Co. about who knew what, when. And it's another black eye for NBC News leadership headed by Chairman Andrew Lack, a close friend of Lauer's. The network had passed on Ronan Farrow's explosive New Yorker piece detailing chilling allegations of rape and sexual assault against producer Harvey Weinstein that published in October and helped jumpstart the torrent of allegations over the last two months. Earlier this month, NBC News also fired former senior vice president for booking Matt Zimmerman after learning multiple women had accused him of inappropriate conduct. Zimmerman was a booker for today and close with Lauer. Lauer, 59, has been a part of many viewers' mornings since being named co-anchor of NBC's morning news program in 1997, covering everything from the Olympics to interviews with presidents. That scope, and the tidal wave of harassment allegations against high-powered men in the Weinstein fallout, may put more of a focus on Lauer and others, according to Jonathan Klein a former U.S. President of CNN.